Hello, and welcome to The Graphene Report, episode number one. My name is Ben Collins, and I'll be talking about graphene and graphene-related products, and especially from the perspective of the community and quality standard products that are on the market today. So let's jump right in. So I like to go around YouTube and check in with those people who are doing interesting stuff in the graphene world. And with that being said, I want to talk about Robert Murray Smith for a moment. If you don't know who he is, he's, he's really significant in the graphene community and one person who's inspired me to start this channel. And he has recently begun to look at the type of battery that comes in a cylinder that we're familiar with, but certainly capacitors typically come in, in this form and are, many are on the market today. And so he's going to begin to exploring mechanically and production wise how to create a battery out of that. I really encourage you to check out his channel and like all the links and videos I talk about, you can see them in the notes below. So what might you use this thing for? Well, you might use it for a hand crank car starter. I'm not kidding. This is Laser Saber or LaserHacker.com, an amazing inventor who's using a string of six capacitors which he hand cranks and then is going to use to start his car. I'm not kidding. This is, this is wild. I looked up the capacitors that he was using, and I, I'm not sure if they are actually graphene-based, but they could be. And uh, this is another thing that he's built, which is a propeller-driven pack for paragliding. And sure enough, yeah, you pull that trigger and the, the blade turns, and he can get about 10 minutes out of the same pack, boost pack as he calls it, on this device and so it's beautiful you can just check it out how small it is and how small that battery bank is and here he is flying around on it so pretty amazing definitely check out laser hacker laser saber so moving on to momo design who has come out with the world's first or as they put it, the Casco Moto in graphene, or Italian for world's first graphene motorcycle helmet. And so this is it here, and you can check them out. The big story I'd like to talk about today is the Capture Light. Let's just watch a moment of their amazing Kickstarter Introducing video. Capture, the action light that upgrades your filming from this to this. Hi, I'm Roger. Here at Exposure, we've been working on the capture light for the last 18 months. So from drones, through to helmets, DSLRs, smartphones, tripods, we wanted to make a product as versatile as possible, so therefore it was as useful as possible. And so what basically happened is they came up with this cool light that the housing needed to be lightweight and also deal with the temperature of a very hot light because um, they wanted to use the best light they could possibly get and so graphene has those kinds of thermal qualities so the problem though was when you go to Kickstarter I noticed it's gone it had been pulled from Kickstarter really unfortunately today if you go to Exposure Lights sure enough there is an ad promoting the brand of Capture Your Adventure. And the thing is, the reason it was pulled from Kickstarter was a copyright dispute because of the name. Not the patent of the idea, but actually its name, which I think the name is, is, is really too vague to begin with. And it's, it's just not something that you want to miss when you're doing your product naming so be really careful in that regard but it looks to me like you can actually order this today and so I, I think it's actually for sale 
I, I haven't ordered one myself, but it's a really interesting product. 120 pounds out of the UK. Let's check it out. It mounts with any GoPro hardware. And you can see that I actually have it in my cart. And uh, I, I think it's really a wonderful idea and great use of graphene as a material for, for solving real problems. And that does it for the show. Please visit CamelliaCarbon.com for future episodes of the Graphene Report. I'll be doing this weekly. Again, my name is Ben. And I'll also be featuring some cool graphene products on the website as I find them. Feel free to contact me, ben at cameliacarbon.com. Thanks again for listening and have a good day.